Hello friends. In this video, we are going to discuss how to provide access to DynamoDB table for a Lambda execution role. In the previous video, we have created a Lambda function and we have written the logic to access uh, the DynamoDB table to access the data and fetch the data from the Lambda function. And we have executed the Lambda function from the Visual Studio with the client ID and client secret, the profile uh, with the profile details. So with that profile, we are able to invoke the Lambda function and we are able to fetch the DynamoDB table because the profile we have created, uh, we have created a user in identity and access management. And to that user, we have provided full permissions and we have generated client ID and client secret for that user. As that user is having full access permissions, we are able to uh, invoke the function in the debug mode from the Visual Studio. Now we will deploy this Lambda function to the AWS Lambda and we will invoke the Lambda function with the execution role, Lambda execution role. Now as this Lambda execution role is not having access to the DynamoDB table, we should get an error. So we should fix that error by providing access to the execution role for the DynamoDB. So let us quickly start our video as a first step as we have already created the function uh, we will just open that function this is the function uh, you can check my previous video for the logic uh, uh, we have written to access the DynamoDB table now we will deploy this function to AWS Lambda uh, we are in we are able to invoke this function from Visual Studio because uh, the profile details here we have connected with the default profile using this client ID and client secret and it has full access permissions and that is why we are able to access i can show again now if you want but first let us go to the lambda no dynamodb table and fetch the customer id to fetch the customer details we have created a table and also we have few records in the table so this is the table we have created and in this table we have two records few records if you go to the Explore table items. Let us click on it. Here you can see the two items. So let us copy the customer ID and we are able to invoke from here because it is going to access the AWS DynamoDB with that uh, client ID and client secret and it has full permissions to access the, all the services. That is why we are able to invoke the DynamoDB table. So let us give me the input customer ID here and I'll click on execute function. It is in debug mode. Now, if you see here, we got the data successfully, Amazon this is the record we have fetched, but we will just deploy this Lambda function to AWS and we will check and we should get error because the Lambda execution role is not having access to the DynamoDB table. <clears throat> Let me close this. Now to publish this function to AWS Lambda, we should have the option from here, go to Solution Explorer, right click. We have here Publish to AWS Lambda. Just click on it. Leave the, all the settings default that we have provided previously. If you want, you can go through that video how we have deployed this AWS Lambda function to Lambda. So I have just clicked on next and these permissions leave as is and click on upload. Now this is going to upload this Lambda function to AWS Lambda. <clears throat> now we will invoke this function once it is published to AWS Lambda. Now it has published. So it, and it has given this screen let us copy the customer ID from here and provide as input. And now what we are expecting is we should not be able to access the DynamoDB table because the Lambda function execution role is not having the required permissions to access the DynamoDB table. So that is why we are expecting an error. Let us click on invoke. 
see wow we got error must have one hash key defined per customer invalid operation exception so we got the error but this error it might be different i am expecting that access permission error but let us check there as well so let us go to the lambda function that which we have deployed just now this is the lambda function so if you go back just one minute ago we have deployed it we have already deployed in the previous video but now in this video uh, we have written the code to access the DynamoDB and we are uh, we have deployed that latest code but that with that uh, lambda execution role we are we should get error because we are, do not have permissions to access the DynamoDB table so let us in test us test that here from here click on this give some event name DynamoDB access event and just scroll down here we will just remove everything because we are just giving the customer ID as the input so let us paste the customer ID and click on the event first save once we save let us click on test we have got the error invalid operation exception must have one hash key defined per customer I'm expecting the access denied error but let us check by providing access to the execution role so to provide access to the execution role go to configuration here we have permissions tab it is showing the role name that we are using for the lambda function this is the execution role we are using lambda exec customer test let us click on that now if you see the permissions we have only one permission that is lambda full access but we don't have permissions to access to the dynamodb table so let us create an inline policy to provide permissions to the dynamodb table so here we need to click on this expand this and we need to choose the service so let us choose the service dynamodb once we choose the service we need to provide the we want read permissions we want to just get an item and the describe the table so we should provide only the permissions which are required not everything so we have provided these two permissions and in the resources we need to specify which resource so here you can click on add arn so it is automatic automatically showing the arn of our table and we need to just give the region so the region if you observe we have deployed this in us east one region that we can check from configuration do we have region here no otherwise we can check the region from the aws lambda console itself so dynamo db so we are using north virginia region north virginia is nothing but us east one so let us give that region us east one and the table name is customer table that we have created uh, in the DynamoDB so let us click on add and just click on review policy uh, just provide a name DynamoDB access policy so this is the policy name we have given the read permissions limited permissions to the customer table so let us click on create policy now a policy is getting created once this policy is created this will be attached to the 
execution role so this is the lambda functions execution role through which we are invoking the lambda functions now we have attached the policy required policy to access the DynamoDB table now let us test now we should able to access the DynamoDB successfully so click on test <clears throat> and just now click on test now we should not get error see now the execution result is succeeded if you click on the details you can see here the customer id amazon it is returned so and also we can test it from visual studio itself so previously we got this error right without providing access permissions to the execution role we have invoked it but we got an error now we have provided the required permissions to the lambda execution role to access the dynamodb table so now let us check by clicking on invoke see now it has invoked successfully and we have written it has written the data so let us also try to change the id i remember with this id we have another customer microsoft so let us test that as well so now it has returned this customer microsoft so in this video in this way we need to provide the required permissions to the required services to the lambda function execution role thank you guys thank you so much for listening my video so patiently let us meet on the next video thank you so much